morning you guys and welcome to the vlog today is an in office day and i'm about to head out the door but before we head out you know i have to do an outfit of the day so here is the outfit for today starting up top we have this blazer from h&m i got this for like 16 dollars, you guys it's crazy and then the shirt i believe the shirt is hmm the shirt is either h&m or target can't remember. I think it's H&M though as well. The pants, Abercrombie of course. Love these things. And then the shoes are actually these booties from Forever 21. Love these things as well. They're so comfy. And then we have a little bit of jewelry on. Silver earrings. These are from Target. Um, not sure where this necklace is from. I'm not sure. Um, but I know my 1942 necklace is from Etsy. That's the fit, you guys. And we are going to head out the door. Apologies for the bad lighting, but we are officially off you guys i am i thought i was gonna go home and just like chill for the night but one of my friends actually asked me if i wanted to do something tonight and i haven't eaten anything all day so we are going to go grab something to eat with her and then we'll just see where the night takes us <laughs> Hey you guys, it is the next day to kind of fill you in on what happened yesterday. So literally at work all day, nothing really exciting happening. After that, I went to this Mexican place called De Nada, which I feel like a lot of people know in Austin, but they have really great Mars and tacos. And I thought Taco Tuesday. So I met up with one of my coworkers there. Um, and we just had a nice little like happy hour moment. And then today there, probably a little too late, came home, went to sleep, woke up, went to work. <laughs> and here we are. All that to say, I feel like I'm giving off very much jolly energy right now. But today at work was a little tough. It was a little bit of a tough day at work. And it honestly wasn't until like the towards the end of the day. Um, so it wasn't all that. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't wanna come on here and be like, oh my God, you guys, everything is like right in the world. It's amazing. Like, no, I like wanna be honest, some days just aren't that great. Sometimes I have a rough day at work or in my personal life. And that's just like one of those days right now. I will say just like even picking up the camera and talking has made me so much happier in this moment like i feel amazing so i'm like happy about that but because it was a rough day decided to stop at taco bell and that's gonna be dinner because i feel like a rough day equals trash food and i don't make the rules i just follow them i thought it would be fun to give you guys some tips on just how i deal with a rough day at work because I feel like a lot of people that have found my videos have found the ones where I was job searching it was tough to find a new job my job at that time I wasn't loving it and it was a bit of a struggle and I feel like I see people leaving comments being like oh my god I'm like looking to switch my job it's so hard and, da -da -da -da. and I'm like no I get it I've been there so I want to give some tips on how like I get through this period because here's the thing even in a job you absolutely love you are going to have rough days it just is what it is and that's just how the cookie crumbles unfortunately but the thing about a job you love those good days far outweigh the bad days and that's what you're looking for in a job I'm gonna get off my soapbox there yeah i'm kind of coming off of like coming up with these off the fly i feel like these tips i think the first tip i would give is to just like put things into perspective because at the end of the day it is 
just a job. No matter how much you love it, it is just a job. Everyone that you're interacting with that day, if it's like someone that made you mad or email that like gun under your skin, whatever, like some people are terrible people, but most of the time, people are just doing their jobs and they have something to get done. You have something to get done. Sometimes those things don't mesh and you end up with a problem. It just is what it is. But putting it, to, it into perspective of like, hey, it's just a job. It's not in like an end all be all. Like I'm here to do the work. But at the end of the day, when it's time for me to go home, I can decompress and that is what it is. It just isn't, it shouldn't take that much of a toll on you, like consistently taking a toll on you. If it is, then like that's a whole different story. But remembering that it's like, okay, this is just a job brings me back down and I'm like, okay, let's chill. I'm not curing cancer. If something goes wrong or this little thing that may have upset me, like it's not gonna end the world. So like, let me take a beat. And I feel like that goes into tip two, which is take a beat. If you are upset in a moment and you like feel yourself getting like worked up or whatever, take a beat, walk away from your computer, go on a walk, maybe change your scenery if you're able to Go to a different part of the office, put in some headphones, decompress, meditate, listen to a favorite podcast, listen to a song. I have a couple of songs where I'm like, you know what? I can't say what I want to say, but this song, I'm going to put it on and it's just, it's just going to make everything right in the world. So like do some of that and just like take a second, you know? Tip three kind of goes along with tip two. But tip three is just to like switch your task. So for me, whenever I'm like, I've been going through it today, like it's it's been a day, I'll usually change my task and my focus to something that is almost mindless to where I could just do it on autopilot and it doesn't take too much mental work. It's like something that needs to get done, but Maybe I don't need to interact with anyone and I can just be in the zone doing whatever I need to be doing. And that in and of itself kind of allows me to just like set the mood. Usually doing that, just like shifting my focus, shifting to a task that isn't as tedious or as mentally, I don't want to say draining, but like mentally mentally hmm mentally exhaustive i don't know it just like it just doesn't take that much mental work you know yeah i could have put that more eloquently but i feel like you get the gist <laughs> now tip five is really more for after your work day so like on your way home when you're at home tip five is to do everything that you love literally anything that you can think of that would just raise your mood. After you get off work, do it. If you have the capacity for it, do it. So that could be getting some comfort food, taking a bath, getting a glass of wine, watching your favorite show, anything like that. Do what you love because that is gonna bring some life into you. Honestly, look at me right now, I'm filming a video vlogging for you guys. And this has completely 180 my mood. I feel so fulfilled in this moment just by doing this because it's something that I actually enjoy and I love. So my camera cut off right as I was finishing that statement, but just do what you love. I feel like it helps so much to bring you out of the like a rough space, bad headspace, bad day. It just does so much for you. So whatever that looks like for you, do it. And honestly, bonus tip, I feel like there's something to be said about like expressing how you're feeling. Like that's kind of what I'm doing right now with vlogging, but even if you're not talking to a camera, maybe you do a voice note. I've been doing that a lot lately and it's been so helpful to just like clear my head. But a voice note, journaling, anything like that. Just like 
release that energy because it's just doing that, like releasing it out of like your head, getting it out into the world and just like letting go. Also, if you can hear that, my laptop is going through it right now, but just releasing it because it's not doing anything for you by holding on to all of that, just like pent up emotion, you know? I think I'm just gonna end the tips there. It was definitely very just off the cuff, nothing planned, just what came to mind when I thought about like having a rough day and what I try to do to just bring myself out of that. Hope that helps. <laughs>so sorry if the footage is a little off in the video I'm still figuring out this camera um, and just like the settings and whatnot and I think the last clip the lens was a little dirty but we'll figure it out I we have what 12 days together to figure it out after this nine mornings to figure it out so like number or I guess nine more videos to figure it out so we'll get there just bear with me but I think with that said, I'm going to end the vlog here. Tomorrow should be a lot more fun than just like my normal work days because tomorrow is, it's a lot going on tomorrow actually. Tomorrow I am one, working from home, but two, we have a work holiday party that I have to get ready for and go to and all that stuff. So I can't wait to bring you guys along for that and then the same day I have a live podcast show that I'm going to gals on the go if any of you watch I'm going to that I'm kind of like still on the fence because it's right in the middle of our holiday party but we're having the holiday party right up the street from where the live show is going to be so kind of just like going back and forth but gonna be so fun get ready for that i'm excited for it i have no idea what i'm wearing but like we'll figure that out tomorrow tomorrow's problem thank you guys so much for watching and commenting i love when you guys leave a comment and i can respond and chat with you guys it's so fun so yeah thank you guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in a few days bye and did she say that christmas isn't even her favorite time of the year that's not her new She's crazy.